So are you thinking, what the heck is a galette? Because that's how you pronounce it. It's basically a pie without a pie pan and you take the edges of the dough, you fold it over to form the crust. It's actually really good. You can make savory galettes, but today we're making a sweet one with this Cabernet peach galette. A few different steps we need to get going here. And the first one is we need to crush some nuts. You're thinking, well, why do we need nuts? Well, they're gonna be part of this. And I have two ounces of some candied pecans here. You can use any kind of nuts you like. I really like these. We're just gonna dump these into a little Ziploc bag here. Lightly close it, leave a little bit open so air can escape. And we're just gonna break these down. We're not looking for a powder, we just want smaller pieces. That's what I'm looking for. Now let's start getting the ingredients ready for our Cabernet peach filling. Now before we get the peaches prepared, we have to get the other ingredients which are gonna help sort of bring everything together. And we're gonna start with a little bit more than a quarter cup, somewhere between a quarter and a half cup of some light brown sugar. Half a teaspoon of ground ginger. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. One teaspoon of cornstarch. Just wanna give a little pinch of salt here, just gonna twist some from my grinder. Two tablespoons of Cabernet. If you don't have any Cab laying around, you can use any other sort of red wine you want. A teaspoon of vanilla. Just wanna mix this stuff together here. All right, let's set this aside and get our peaches ready. So I've got five peaches here, and we're just gonna start breaking these down. First thing I wanna do is I want to cut them in half. And if you have peaches that are maybe getting just a little bit soft, this is the perfect use for them. Just gonna twist that here and get our pit out. And then we're just gonna start slicing these into wedges. So working our way towards that center there. Doesn't have to be perfect. And usually four or five peaches will be enough here. I'm doing five just so we have some extra. Twist. Get the pit out, and I like to cut them in half, like I said, and then work with that quarter peach. It's funny, whenever I do a dessert type video, they never do as well as my barbecue or other type of food videos, but you know what? I love making desserts, and I think if you can sort of expand your repertoire of what you cook, it's always good because then, hey, you're doing ribs, you're doing brisket, Throw down a nice peach galette. Really impress people. And I always say this whenever I'm doing any sort of dessert or baking, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm not a baker. Now, if it's not peach season where you are or you're watching this video at some point where it's not peach season, you could use apples. You can make an apple galette. You can be creative here. And if you're wondering if we're gonna be making pie dough, we're not gonna be making pie dough. We're gonna be using a pre-made pie dough. I personally do not enjoy making pie dough. I like making pizza dough, bread dough, things like that, but pie dough, nah. The pie dough I can buy always comes out better than the stuff I've made. Maybe someday I'll get better at it. Almost done here with our last peach. And I'm just gonna wipe my cutting board down. Cleaned up just a little bit here. And there are our peaches. Let's get these mixed up with the rest of our filling ingredients. So we have our Cabernet sugar mixture here. We're just gonna get our peaches in. We're gonna mix these up. Just wanna get some of that flavoring, that Cabernet flavoring on the peaches. Oh, this smells good. Those peaches and the Cabernet. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. Looks like everybody's got a good little coating on them. All right, let's start building this galette. So what I have here is a pre-made pie dough. This is your standard sort of nine inch pie pan dough. It's obviously larger than nine inches, but that's because the pie pan diameter is about nine inches and this goes up the sides. But this is perfect for what we're gonna do today. And again, if you wanna make your own pie dough, go ahead. I just like doing this, this is easier. And sometimes convenience is great. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sprinkle those crushed pecans in here, but we wanna leave about an inch and a half to two inches around the sides, we wanna leave that open. So we're gonna go in the middle, 
start working our way around. And if it gets a little closer to the edge, it's not going to hurt anything. This is just a nice little extra bit of flavor and texture here with this. And now we're going to start putting our peaches in here. Now you can just sort of dump them in and then work that way, but I'm going to actually layer them in by hand. It takes a little longer, but I think it looks nicer. So I'm just going to start taking peaches, working my way around. Again, observing that, you know, inch and a half, two inches around the edges, trying to keep that clear. See how nice this looks here. And then we're going to kind of reverse as we start doing the inner part here. Getting crazy. And again, this does not have to be perfect. This shouldn't be stressful. You should enjoy this. Because I'm certainly going to enjoy eating it. I'm just going to go in here and fill in the center a bit. And if you have any open spots like over here, maybe just take a smaller peach, fit it in there. And you'll notice I have this on a piece of parchment paper in the baking pan because it's going to bake right here on this parchment paper. But first, we need to create our edge, our crust here. And we're just going to start taking this folding it in. You see how this bends right here, this little pleat? Work your way around. Creating like a little open envelope here for our galette. Working it around. So we have that. And just make sure those little pleats are sort of pressed together a little bit. You don't have to press too hard, but you want them to sort of seal. And some of the moisture here will help those seal. Now we want to get a little bit of an egg wash and some sugar flavoring on our crust. That's this outer part here. So what I have here is one egg yolk and a teaspoon of milk that's just been beaten together. And we're just going to brush the outside of our crust here. Nice egg wash. If you have a different egg wash you like to use, go ahead and use that. Some other recipe. Some people just use water instead of milk. Now I have some turbinado sugar and I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit around the edge here. Because you know, we need more sugar in this. It's not sweet enough yet, right? I mean, come on. How much sugar is already in here? But this is a dessert. I'm not sure this is the time to count calories with this. All right, that's ready. I'm going to pop this into my oven, which is preheated to 375 degrees. It's going to go for about 40, 45 minutes. Really, it's dependent upon your oven until this is golden brown. You're going to see some bubbling in the center here. But if it starts to get too dark, let's say it's 30 minutes and it still needs a little bit more for those peaches to soften, just loosely cover it with foil and then let it finish the time. But this is looking good. I'm gonna get it in the oven. I'll see when it's time to take it out. Now this needs to cool for probably 20 or 30 minutes, but while it's still warm here, I want to glaze those peaches with a little bit of honey. Just gets a nice little sheen on them. You could even use things like, you know, peach preserves, any sort of preserves, and a little honey never hurt. So we're just going to walk away from this and let it cool. Well, here is our Cabernet Peach Galette. It's cooled down. It's still warm. and. Want it a little warm because we're going to put some ice cream on a piece in just a minute. So let's cut into this. Turn it a little bit here. A sharp knife does help here so you can get through these peaches without crushing them. Let's see how we did. Oh yeah, that looks nice. A little piece of peach escaping here. Let's give it a try. I hope you can see in there that layer of nuts at the bottom. 
It acts as a little bit of barrier so that any of those juices don't saturate the pie dough, but I think we did really good here. If you look at the bottom, see there, we got a nice little brown on there. And that's a nice piece, but I think I want a bigger piece to put some ice cream on. Let's go over here. Yes. Get a piece on our plate here. Get the rest of our galette on another plate to set aside. I've got a nice scoop of some French vanilla. So there's really no use waiting anymore here. We got our ice cream on our big piece of peach galette. Let's dive in and get a taste. I want to try some without the ice cream first. Even though the ice cream's starting to melt here. Oh, that bottom crust is nice and crispy. Let's see. That is nice. You can see how the fold right there just sort of encompasses the outside of the peaches, almost like you would with a stuffed crust pizza. So good. Mm. Now a little ice cream here. Mm. To me, this is the perfect summer dessert. 